We're continuing to look at how local industries could be affected if the four Lower Snake River dams are breached. Those relying on the barging industry say it would more or less change everything for them if this did happen. And that spout is what we use to load the barges. A grain barge is essentially a floating grain silo. The river system really is invaluable to moving that grain. The most efficient and cost effective way, and I would argue one of, if not the cleanest way of getting those bushels down there. 120 barges, 120,000 bushels per barge. That's over 400,000 tons of wheat being shipped to Portland from Tri-Cities Grain each year. People talk about putting it on train or trucks. But the economics are really tough to make that work with the prices. The cost is going to go up. Randy Hayden is the executive director of the Port of Pasco, which oversees three of the 27 terminals on the Snake Columbia River system. We are the country's top export for wheat. Transporting over 50% of all U.S. wheat to overseas markets. And in 2016 alone, that was over 12 million tons of wheat. I've been in tow boat operations uh, since 1980. It'd be very easy for me to focus on being a towboat person, how important that is to the tugboat community, the tugs that are on the river, the barges, the people that work on them. But we're just the transporters of the hundreds and hundreds of farm families in Oregon, Washington, and Idaho that are producing wheat, shipping it down to the river by truck, and loading it on barge. And that's not the only product that travels our waterways. We ship in wood chips, fertilizer, petroleum, and containers. The alternatives to barging may not be viable. There's a vast amount of grain that is directly tributary to the river. Without that access, you'd actually have to truck the grain back up, pay for the cost, then you've got the additional rail freight all the way down. Or truckloads. You're talking about thousands and thousands of truck trips. That's 110 of those semis into one barge. If you talk to uh, anybody who's shipping by truck right now, it is tough to find trucks, tough to find drivers. And the rail system is really nearing capacity as well. That may mean more highway traffic and more expensive gas. Just behind me, you can see the Tidewater Terminal that brings in, uh, at certain times of the year, up to half of our gasoline. So when you're pulling up to the pump to fill up your car, just remember that about half the time you're filling up, that gas came up the barge on the river system to fill up our gas tanks. There are so many pieces to this system and, and it is so integrated into the fabric of life here in the inland northwest. For the vast majority of what we do here, it would essentially end it. No barges, no facility.